Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 3.03, and in this lesson, we're going to be looking at our various tools that we have from this main arranger page. So we have our object selector tool, our time selector tool. We'll be going through all of those in just a minute. So at this point, I hope that for your first creation here, you've set a BPM, you've set a time signature, and now you're ready to hopefully start creating some clips, getting some audio events in there, and uh, getting going on your first creation. I did wanna mention that to access your computer keyboard, which I did in the last video, all you have to do is select caps lock and then you can actually play in notes using your keyboard. All right, but let's look at what we can do with our tools. So our first tool here is the object selection tool and it does a lot of things for us. One of them is it can actually create a clip. So if I go to my nine point here and I double click, um, I can create a clip. If I go to the upper portion here at the end, I can drag it out, make it longer from this way, or I could do that from the other side as well. So let's say we had a two bar clip and now I wanted to loop it. It would be very easy. I could actually select the bottom half of the clip and I could start to loop it. All right, so now we have a loop going. And if I wanted to, I could actually change the duration of this loop, but we'd have to remember that it's only going to take into account then what's going on before the loop line. So if I bring this back here to the 10 and we had a two bar clip, that second half of the clip is no longer going to play in the loop only the first half. And if you actually bring in real audio, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, you can only select the very first point. So I can't go later in the clip and then try to pull this out. And if you look very, very closely, you'll see how the very first loop mark uh, looks a little bit different from all of the rest. Okay, very cool. To delete that, I'll just click the delete key. Now we're gonna get back to working with our clip that we brought in before. So I'm going to use the time selector tool for this. And what I'll do is I'll just click it here, but you can also access all of these by just clicking the numerals one to five on your keyboard. And if you want to just momentarily grab one of these, which I'll do in a minute, if I was on two and I just wanted to use the knife tool for a second, I could hold down the five button. Like let's say I want to cut my track here and then I could let go of the five button and as God's my witness, it goes back to the two, okay? I didn't click two, it just did it on its own. I'll click Command Z to undo that for right now. And let's say we just want to loop this last little region here of the clip. Using my time selector tool, I can just click, drag. Now I'm gonna select Command L to loop. And if we play back, we're just looping that last bar in our like rubber 01 full uh, drum break there, okay? A few other things I can do with my uh, time selector enabled is I can right click in here and now I have a variety of options. So I can consolidate, split, bounce in place, bounce, insert time, uh, insert silence, duplicate time, which is gonna be very helpful, and uh, some other things. We're gonna look at all of this in greater depth a little bit later, but for now I'm just going to split this out. So if I go back to my object selector tool, what we see here is um, now we have two clips, all right? We have one clip playing back from the original spot and then we just have our last bar. So I could pull this back to the 111, could pull that back there and now we could play it and we have our loop rearranged a little bit. And so that sounds kind of cool to me. We could probably make it more interesting if we went in there and uh, made some more slices. Now, we can make slices a little bit easier if we wanted to and do some more rearranging quicker. And we could do that using the knife tool. And so the knife tool is the fifth one over. I'll just select that. And uh, we're gonna talk about these snap to grid functions in a second, but let's say I wanted to just chop this up into a lot of little pieces. Okay, so I've done that. And now I can go ahead and I can uh, rearrange these guys out like some puzzle pieces just for fun. We'll see what we come up with. Put that here and whoops. I'll stick that there. Cool, so now we can play back and see what we got.
And to me, that sounds actually a lot cooler than what we started with. But what you'll notice is with some of these clips, like with this one that is just like a quarter note in length, if I'm dragging out and I'm looping, it's looping everything. And one of the reasons for that is because this hasn't been consolidated. It's still including everything in my clip. All right, so we haven't actually made a totally new um, audio file. We haven't really made a new event. We've just shortened the length of the clip. So sometimes this works in Bitwig, sometimes it doesn't. I can't really explain the logic there. If I right click and select consolidate, now when I loop it, it should just loop that one little portion. Cool, right? Awesome, that's exactly what I was hoping happened and that's what happened. Now with my uh, pen tool here, a few things. One, I can just click and drag and so I can make a longer clip than just one bar like we saw before. Uh, but really the pen tool comes more in handy when we're working with automation. So let's say we want to play around with the pan. All right, I could take my pen tool and I can draw in a crazy little pattern here. Whoa, my mouse got stuck. And so now we could listen to what we got. And assuming you were listening there in stereo, you would have heard that all uh, going a little crazy there. Now our erase tool is kind of an interesting one. It's very destructive in how it works. So if I wanted to erase something, like let's say I want to erase this automation, I just have to click and drag. And once I release it, it's going to erase it. So you can see that I'm using it to erase the automation right now but I could also use it to erase clips. So if I just want to erase part of this clip, I can do that just like that, okay? Very, very simple stuff. And really, that's all I wanted to cover in this lesson. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Just remember that you can access all of these by clicking one, two, three, four, five. And if you just need to briefly use one, for example, if you just need to use the eraser for a second, I can hold down four, I can make an erase mark here, let it go, I'm back to my razor tool, and then I could go to one and I could rearrange that, pull it to the beginning, and uh, we're off to the races, right? And I will catch you again in the next lesson.